Hi, I just want to talk a little bit about the difference between manually scheduled and auto scheduled tasks. So at the bottom, the green bar at the bottom of the Microsoft project will tell you that the default right now is manually scheduling for all tasks. That means that you assign a certain start date and Microsoft project won't mess with that. So in this simple project, I've got four tasks, consult, design, build, and test, and I've got different durations for those. Notice my start dates are at blank as well as the finish dates. Um, once I start to assign some relationships to these tasks, so I choose one task and say there's a finish to start relationship with another task, then Microsoft Project will fill in those start dates for me. Uh, it uses today's date as our default start date for the very first task, and then based on those relationships, it will fin figure out when the other task can start. Now, when you're using manually scheduling um, of tasks, then Microsoft Project will not alter that start date once it's been set up. So, for example, if my build task, I actually underestimated, and instead of two days, it takes four days, as I put that in, then all of a sudden notice that I am starting my testing before I finish building my project. And we notice that the, the bar um, on the Gantt chart looks a little unusual. And as we hover over it, it says, warning, um, this is a manual task. There's a potential scheduling problem. So because we chose manual scheduling, it's not going to update the start date of that testing phase. But yet, because we said there's a finish to start relationship between the previous task, build and test, then some things potentially wrong here and it's right that something is wrong in this case so let's um, let's undo that last step and I'm going to switch everything from manual from manual to auto scheduling when you use auto scheduling you take advantage of Microsoft projects um, ability to schedule things as soon as possible or adjust dates depending on how you need to adjust them for durations. So now if I've got all four tasks as manually as auto scheduled instead of manually scheduled, then I switch this to four days and it says, well, that's going to take four days. So we know now that we can't start our testing phase until we're done uh, with the build phase. And that's what we want. So in most cases, you're going to want to change the default from manually scheduling to auto scheduling down here.